He say that I blow his mind every time I'm activated. You just tryna catch a vibe. CC got you fascinated. Jump up on the brand new ride. BMW riding, baby. I ain't gon' tell you lies. That's just how we roll. You know what it is? What it is? How we roll? You know what it is? What it is? That's just how we roll. What's good, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my handsome, and my powerful sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. Y'all, I be excited now I'm going through the Zodiac. When I get close to the Scorpio and shit, I be getting crumped, baby, because I know I'm about to fuck with my Scorpios, okay? All right, y'all. So y'all see y'all already shuffled, meditated over the cards. So we're going to go on and get into it. But first, I'm going to pull a couple of messages from this deck, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? You guys, if anything resonates, y'all know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Anything you need to know about your girl will be in the description box below. I want to say hello to my new, anybody new that's viewing, anybody returning. Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just sharing your time with me, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know? Messages for my Scorpios. What do they need to know? All right, bet. We're going to take them three. All right, so Scorpio, we have Pluto. Okay, we have some type of um, precognition, and we have service. So I feel like, Scorpio, you have the ability to perceive future events, okay? So you could be someone, maybe you meditate, you sit with your legs crossed, you know, you do the different finger mantras or whatever but i feel like you have the ability to perceive future events okay this could be through reading messages maybe you receive downloads through holy spirit but i feel like your sense your connection to the divine is very strong right now okay and it's like you're able to see things you're able to predict the future we have service for some of you this this ability that you have could be a service that you're supposed to be providing for other people you're eager and passionate to resolve problems of the whole world in the material and physical sense. So, yes, I feel like it's something that you do, Scorpio. Like I said, some of you guys, you into crystals, you do yoga, you do different healing mantras with your, your hands, and you sit and still, and you allow Holy Spirit to speak through you, or speak to you through downloads. But whatever this is that you do, this is a service that you can provide for other people. Help them on their journey teach them things as well we have pluto okay pluto is one of our rulers as well okay we're ruled scorpio by pluto and mars if you didn't know that this is the urge to penetrate the depths of the experience and experience renewal De deep uh, let me start that again experience renewal deep transformation regeneration and evolution okay so uh what was pluto pluto was in was it from 1980 to 19 93 94 95 96 don't quote me on them exact dates i know it was throughout the 80s and part of the of the early 90s pluto was transitioning through the uh the atmosphere okay a, a, a transitioning through the signs okay and it finally went stationary so some of you guys if you were born between 1980 up until i think 93 or 94 you can have your pluto is in Scorpio. Check your birth chart. Tell, I, I bet I ain't lying. <laughs> I bet I ain't lying. So you're going to be like, ooh, move flying. Yes. Okay. If you were born, I believe, from 1980 to, like I said, either 94, 95, 96. I don't remember the years. It's been a while since I read about it. But that is when Pluto was traveling. That's when Pluto was, was um, shit, I can't think of the word, trans, transient, transitioning through the zodiac. Shit, y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's been a long day. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Scorpio, we have the Ace of Wands energy, okay? I feel like some of you could be looking for some type of positive, positive encouragement. Y'all, this last quarter moon, y'all know how these moon cycles do you, girl. <laughs> okay, I feel like some, some of you could be looking for some type of encouragement at this time. Like, you're looking, you're wanting this passionate beginning, but you need some type of encouragement. Like, the shit been rough, you know what I'm saying? And you're like, oh, Lord, I, I, I know this for me, but you just need encouragement to know that this this new beginning is, is happening, okay? You could have experienced some type of creative block, but I feel like you're about to have this, though, okay? There's about to be new 
some type of new opportunity that's going to be presented to you. And it's because you've been making progress. You never lost that passion. You, you've always been fearless. And I feel like there's about to be some type of breakthrough that's going to happen for you. Okay, so this has been your energy in the past. I feel like, Scorpio, you're about to experience some type of breakthrough here, okay? You could have been seeing 111 and 1111 a lot. And with this crown chakra here, I feel like intuitively, or you have this deep, no, not crown chakra. Not, oh, I said third eye. With this crown chakra, I feel like you have this deep knowing. Like, even though you've experienced a lot of challenges, a lot of ups and downs and shit, it's like you always knew that you were going to have this new beginning, that some type of opportunity or something that was going to be presented to you was going to bring some type of fresh start, okay? For some of you, these new beginnings, this ace of wands that you're going to have is going to be lots of money coming in, okay? This talks about wealth, success, you being very lucky, but this got to do with your finances. Some of you, you've been praying, you've been wanting, you need a little bit more encouragement when it comes to your finance, baby, because them shits has not been looking good, baby, mine either, okay? But I feel like in this new cycle that you're about to to endure, I feel like this is going to be fulfillment of all your wishes. I feel like you've also completed some type of cycle, okay? And in that past cycle, Scorpio, that's when we had that broke folk mentality, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like we weren't going to never have nothing, we weren't going to never be nothing. But in this new cycle, baby, we can start thinking like, okay, shit, I might can go get that new binge, you know what I'm saying? I might can go cop, you know what I'm saying, a new Bentley or whatever it is that I've been wanting. Because you know that's how much money you're going to have coming in. See, in the past, we couldn't see this shit when Spirit was trying to show us. But it's like now that we're entering this new cycle and the old ways of us thinking, the old old Scorpio is shedding and that new Scorpio is prevailing now, Scorpio. Now you can start to see. Like that vision, even though you know that motherfucker may be another year or two out, it's like you're starting to see. Like you can feel the energy. You know something good is about to happen, okay? I feel like with this new cycle, it has a lot to do with your root chakra. I feel like you've really been grounding yourself. I feel like you're more stable, you're more safe, and you're more secure. A lot of us had a bad relationship with money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, but shit, back in the day, Scorpio, money used to burn a hole to my damn pocket shit. As soon as I get some money, I got to go spend that shit and see how the spirit going to bless us with these millions and thousands of shit. We're going to go spend that shit the whole next day, okay? We had to close out those cycles. You could have been seeing a uh, 10 10 a lot. I feel like some of you will start to travel more. Like maybe you haven't been able to travel. You ain't been able to move around. You've just been kind of feeling stuck. Okay. And I feel like in this new cycle that you're about to endure, I feel like you'll be traveling more. You'll be uniting with people that, that are like minded. Okay. And there'll be a lot of more celebrations. I feel like you'll be achieving a lot, a lot of more things. And you will have a reason to celebrate, to feel happy, to feel victorious here. Okay. Meanwhile, on the rent, Scorpio, while that's going on, you have somebody over here that's dealing with a karmic, okay? They're dealing with somebody who's careless, cold-hearted, don't care about their feelings, okay? Overcritical. They criticize this person. Everything they do, all your your damn he your head lopsided. One of your damn tooth longer than the other. You don't tie your shoes right. I don't like the way you, your one nipple up and the other nipple down. You know what I'm saying? Like, they always got something... To, to say to criticize this person, okay? This could be someone that easily influenced with this person or by this person, and they can't get no damn peace of mind with this damn karmic ass person. For some of you, they suffer from addictions, okay? This could be someone, maybe they suffer from drinking, drugs, okay? Or they abuse it. Like, ain't nothing wrong with having a little taste, ain't nothing wrong with having a little smoke. But shit, if you smoke a whole, a whole ounce a day, you know what I'm saying? If you're drinking a whole, uh, a half a gallon of a liquor a day, like that's a problem. So someone here could be suffering from addictions. Maybe they're trapped in some type of relationship or or some type of connection here, but they're not happy though. But they're not happy, but they feel powerless. They feel like they have no choice. They feel like they have a lot of restrictions around them. Okay, so I feel like the wheel is starting to change here. Okay, I know we don't have a wheel of fortune, but I'm I'm giving it to you how I see it. I feel like the wheel is starting to change, okay? At one point in time, Scorpio, when you were down, this person could have been up. And it's like now that wheel is starting to turn, okay? And now good luck is on your side, and this person is starting to experience a lot of bad karma. Ooh, I see the Z. Z fight. <laughs> okay, so now this person is starting to experience a lot of bad karma in their life, okay? This person has to make some type of difficult choice. And right now they feel stuck. What's that song by... um? 
Latoya, look, I'm torn between the two, and I don't know what to do. So someone here feels torn between the two. They feel possibly torn between you and this third party. They feel like this situation is about to come to a head, like they're about to face a major crossword, crossroads in their life, okay? So I heard that song by uh, Bone Thoughts, so uh-huh, meet me at the crossroads. <laughs> When you going to get lonely, somebody could be lonely here because I feel like they've been suppressing all these feelings and emotions here, okay? But somebody saying, meet me at the crossroads, hey. All right, so somebody has been sexually manifesting you, Scorpio, okay? That means somebody has been manifesting their next sexual encounter with you, okay? So which means, Scorpio, you and this person ain't had no sexual encounter in a while. 10, 10 on the clock as I'm saying that, okay? Somebody has been manifesting their next sexual encounter with you, okay? For some of you, you done moved on, okay? Some of these new beginnings, okay? This new cycle that you're about to have here, Scorpio, it includes money, wealth, success, and for some of you, it includes a new bae, okay? A new boo, a new boo thing, okay? A new man, a new woman in your life. Y'all take it how it resonates, okay? And this person saying, shit, Scorpio, I know somebody been over there loving on you, but shit, don't think I ain't finna sit up here and fight for your love. Don't think I ain't finna ain't no goddamn fool because I know... You've been over there giving that good away, okay? You've been giving my good away. Somebody over there loving you right, treating you right, doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like someone here, once they make some type of decision, some type of choice, so like I said, meet me at the crossroads, okay? And, and once this person goes through this crossroads, baby, they're going to know the direction. I just threw the damn car. They're going to know the direction that they're supposed to be going. See, this person, they didn't know which direction they're supposed to be going. They didn't know if they're supposed to be going left, they right, go backwards, reverse. Like, this person didn't know exactly what they were supposed to be doing. But this person going to have the willpower. They're going to be determined. They're going to know the direction that they're going to be in or which direction they're headed in, baby, and they're going to stay focused. For some of you, this can be your divine counterpart. We got the yin and yang right there, okay? Look at this. We got the four of wands as well, as I'm saying. And some of you could be dealing with the Aries. Now, for some of you, there could be some problem issues. Okay, some problem issues. Some, <laughs> some problems within their household, okay? This could be someone, like I said, that, that foundation, that stability. This could be a broken home or marriage, a connection that's not fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? They're struggling to find peace. But they're going to find peace once they have that, that direction, which they know they're supposed to be going, okay? And some of you, look at this. I got twin flame right here. I didn't even see this card. This is talking about your twin flame or someone that you share this past life connection with, okay? Someone that you met them in another lifetime. And now this person's trying to come in and reconnect with you this lifetime, okay? Now, for some of you over here with this new beginnings, okay, you're going to meet someone new. And this will not be a short term. This ain't going to be no fling. This ain't going to be no fly-by-night type situation, okay? This is going to be someone you and this person are going to share a long-term connection, okay? A long-term relationship. This is what you're going to have. And for some of you, this person is going to be so excited to hear from you. Receiving a text from you, Scorpio, always brightens up this person's day. They could be having a bad day, Scorpio. As soon as they see Scorpio on their phone, they get that little notification, boop, 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 boop. As soon as they get that little notification on their phone, they're like, ah, there goes Scorpio. Like, you just put a smile on this person's face. Like, you brighten up their whole fucking day, Scorpio. And for some of you, this person just want to hold you tight in their arms and just tell you, babe, I love you. I love you, Scorpio. They want to hold you tight, babe, because they don't never want to let you go, okay? Now, meanwhile on the ranch, we're going to go on to this side of the board, okay? Y'all see I had this shit split up, okay? So on this side of the board, Scorpio, I feel like you got two energies here, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have a choice between two. You're going to have a soulmate to choose from, and some of you got the twin flame, and some of you going to have soulmate, somebody from your past twin flame. Y'all take it how it resonates here. I'm just reading the cards, okay? Now, over here in this situation, somebody feel like they got too many problems in this relationship, okay? They tired of being on this roller coaster ride with this third party, this karmic, and they saying, shit, it's time to call it quits, okay? And I can't make this shit up because we had the four of wands in reverse, okay? This talks about a broken home, an unsuccessful, unfulfilled marriage or relationship. So somebody saying they tired of being on this up and down ass roller coaster ride with this damn third party. Sometimes they good, sometimes they bad, sometimes they up, sometimes they down. I'm hearing Vivian Green, a mo emotional roller coaster, okay? They tired of this shit. They're struggling to overcome their addictions. 
They've come a long way, but they still need help. Okay, so here go this devil energy I was talking about. Some of you could be dealing with your twin flame, someone from your past here. They can have problems with addictions. This could be someone, maybe they overindulge. Like, like I said, it's, it's okay to drink, have a little smoke, do whatever you do. But when you overindulge and when you need that to be able to cope or be able to handle life or be able to survive, like that's when it becomes a problem here, okay? And I feel like someone here has gotten to the point to where they can't go every day without drinking or they can't go every day without doing this. You know what I'm saying? And it's coming to the point to where it's affecting other things in their life, okay? Their well-being, their health, you know, they're, they're not being able to cope. And I feel like they're using those addictions to cope because they're struggling. This is someone who is trying to make some type of decision. Like, there's about to be a crossroad here, okay? Somebody here ha is going to have to make some type of, of difficult choice. And she, if they're drinking, smoking, trying to figure out how the hell they're going to make this damn decision here, okay? All right, so Scorpio, what signs we got here? You can be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag. We got Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra, Aries, and we also had Cancer here. All right, so we're going to go to the who this. Let's see who this reading is about. And then we're going to pull... I'm going to roll the dice, and then we're going to see who else this reading is about, okay? All right, Scorpio, so y'all know what to do when I pull these cards. This is, gonna, this is going to be describing you or your person. Ooh, y'all, too much time for today. I got two more videos, and I'm through. All right, Holy Spirit, who is this reading about for my Scorpio? I love you, Scorpio. I know I didn't get y'all. I know I know I'm going to break that down in the middle of shit. I was on it today. My bad, y'all. Yeah, I know I love my Scorpios. Y'all stay tuned tomorrow. I got some videos, some more messages. Just for you. I'm going to do a little something special for you. Okay? So tune in tomorrow. All right. This could be about someone who's medium built. Someone who wears braces. All right. We have someone who has small feet. Sideburns. Gap tooth. This is someone who has piercings. These can be on their face, ears, ears, or nose here. You guys, I hope y'all been checking out the collective reads. Those for all zodiac signs. Those are here. Just like the regular Scorpio readings do, okay? Let me do a couple of more. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, you can have straight teeth or pretty teeth, okay? We got words, cowboy boots, and someone with thick eyebrows. All right, y'all, so let's roll the dice. And let's see who this reading is about for my beautiful Scorpio. In my hand for Scorpio. All right, y'all, y'all could have been dealing with Leo, Aries, Libra, Cancer. All right, we got another Scorpio, Heavy Pisces, Sag. And we have Cancer, Heavy Pisces, and Taurus. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, Scorpio, stay blessed and tune in tomorrow. Bye-bye.